Hey guys, so Jane from Legion Gaming. In this video, I am talking about Days of War, a brand new World War II shooter that popped up on Kickstarter. Basically, the alpha starts next month in April, and I just heard of this a couple of weeks ago, and it looks like a really cool shooter. All the gameplay you're seeing in the background is from in server and tested. However, You'll see at certain points the graphics look great. At certain points they don't look so great. Um, again, this is pre-alpha footage. So that's why there may be a bit of a discrepancy in the way the game looks. Um, but yeah, basically it's Kickstarter and you can pledge different amounts. So basically you pledge $5 or more and you just get access to the forum and stuff like that. $10, you don't really get too much access and that's why there's only 13 backers at five dollars and four backers at ten dollars once you hop up to nineteen dollars you get early access in august 2016 um and there's nineteen dollars or more um at 29 dollars you again get early access at 39 dollars you're still early access but once you get up to 49 dollars you get access to the beta and then at $59 you get access to the alpha so currently they've already raised like fifty nine thousand uh, dollars and the way they do it is basically I believe 20,000 was that it gets early access on Steam uh, 40,000 was they'd add the British forces uh, because originally this game was just US and Germany and at 60k which there's only 26 hours left at the time I'm filming this and probably when this goes up like 12 hours left on the Kickstarter I'll link it down below in the description I uh, will get the Russia Russian forces so I'm assuming that they're gonna hit that because there's only like a thousand dollars left or even less than that like 500 and there's 27 hours left so I'm almost certain they'll hit that uh, whether we'll hit the goal of Xbox one in 2016 which is 80k PlayStation 4 in 2016, which is 100k, Italian forces and French forces, which are 120k and 140k, seem a lot less likely. But as you can see in the background, the main reason why they want to create this game is they want to go back to the days where most first-person shooters were World War II. Uh, they said they were waiting for some people to remake them, like Battlefield or Call of Duty, and they just never ended up going back to that time era. And because this is mainly a Battlefield channel, I just want to talk about this and how it would affect Battlefield. Um, this game and Battalion are going to be two pretty big games. Uh, they look really awesome, and the fact that this game may not come to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 in 2016, but probably by 2017 it will. And with this and Battalion, uh, which would directly compete with a Battlefield 1944, I don't think it would be too wise for Battlefield to go in that direction. And I know a lot of you guys want it, but... I feel like Battlefield could do a, like, I had a video yesterday talking about, like, at between 2020 and 2139, if they would push more to the future, I feel like they could do it really well. But, yeah, this is Days of War. I know I didn't talk about it too much. Again, the alpha is coming out soon, so wait for that, and I'll have a ton more gameplay on it. Guys, please go and fund these guys. It's a really awesome game, and also, I'll get access to the game, and stuff like that in addition to they said I'll get a console key when it comes out on console which is pretty cool because I'd probably buy it on console anyway so I went ahead and spent the fifty nine dollars to pledge uh, towards this game and I know some other youtubers okay one other youtuber Westy um, has gotten behind this but yeah this game looks pretty awesome 25 hours to go if you haven't already again like I said don't get to go and check out their Kickstarter subscribe to my channel if you are new here but that's what it feels for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.